quick pause in our hatching program to say that it has been storming like crazy. So I hope everybody is staying dry and not flooded and safe. Here on the farm, it is definitely wet. We've been doing a lot of work to make sure all of our water is going to the right places. We've got good drainage, the coops are good, the pastures are good. So I want to acknowledge that there is a lot of flooding happening right now. And also show two cute baby chicks. Oh, come back down here, you. Um, some of you have been asking how we can tell if our chicks are male or female. And these two are German Bienfelders. This one is a female. Can you see the chipmunk stripe? Stripe that goes all the way from the head down to the rump. It's a stripe that is dark and it doesn't have any areas that it's broken. Sometimes the females will have a little dot on top of their head like she has, but that is indeed a female. Same breed over here is our male and he kind of has a chipmunk stripe, but it's much lighter. Hey guys. And he has a big dot on his head, but overall his coloring is just so much lighter. So that's how we can tell the difference between male and female. It's the same for our azure eggers, they look the same. So we don't do any kind of vent sexing or things like that here because I believe that's really invasive and I wouldn't want to be treated that way. So we don't treat our birds that way. This is how we can tell with our guaranteed females who's the female and then who's the male. And these are the male chicks that get donated. We have the same feather pattern of our azure eggers and then our alchemist blues are a little different. I'll show them another day.